Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 128. 128. And today we'll do our 13th lesson, 13th video on the topic of. Ratios and proportions. The problem that you see on the blackboard is something that I gave you yesterday on day number 127. If you have not watched yesterday's video, if you have not watched day 127, pause this video, stop this video, make sure you watch 127 first, make sure you solve the problem that, that we did yesterday first. This problem I gave you yesterday is the homework. It's very similar to what we did yesterday. Here's what the problem says. In a solution, in a solution, the ratio of liquid A to B to C is 2 to 5 to 7. The solution is then altered. The solution is then altered in such a way that the ratio of A to B is doubled and the ratio of A to C is tripled. In the final solution, we are told, in the final solution, we have 30 millimeter of liquid B. If we have 30 millimeter of liquid B, how much of C must we have? The work that you see here is from the yesterday's problem, it's not from today's problem. What I want you to, and here are the answer choices, 21, 24, 28, 30, and 42. What I want you to do, what I want you to do is do the problem yourself, pause the video right now, do the problem yourself. If you have trouble solving it yourself, if you're stuck, go and watch the yesterday's video, you will understand how to do it and then solve it yourself. Always try to do some the problem yourself first before we do it together. You will get a lot more out of it that way. I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Alright, here we go. So we are told that A to B is double. Let's see what... So the key here, as I explained yesterday, as I explained yesterday's problem, which was a very similar, similar problem with this one, as I said. The key here is always remember to manipulate one variable at a time. Don't try to do everything together. If there are three or four or five things that are changing in the problem, don't try to start switch, um, uh, uh, tackling all of them at once. You cannot do that. You can only manipulate one variable at a time, keep everything else constant. And at the very end, we'll do the adjustment that we need to do. The adjustment that we'll have to do at the end is to make sure that we do actually have 30 millimeter of liquid B. So let's start. We're going to first look at just A and B, nothing else. A to B. A to B. Initial we are told is 2 to 5. 2 to 5. Then we are told that the ratio is doubled. It is doubled. Instead of 2 to 5, it's going to double. It's going to be 4 to 5. It's going to be 4 to 5. It has been doubled. That's it. That part is done. We are all done with that part. Let's move on to A to C. A to C, initial ratio is 2 to 7. Initial ratio is 2 to 7. 2 to 7. And we are told that ratio, that ratio in fact has tripled. It has tripled, which means instead of 2 to 7, we have 6 to 7. That part is also done. We are all finished. Now we have to go back and make sure that we have 30 millimeter of liquid B in both of these scenarios. And you will see what I mean by liquid. 30 millimeter of liquid B here. You will see. We need to have 30 millimeter of liquid B. Here, how much of B do we have? We have only 5 millimeter of liquid B. We need 30. We need 30 millimeter. Let's multiply this by 6. If you're going to multiply that by 6, we have to multiply this by 6. We end up with 30 millimeter of liquid B to 24 millimeter of liquid A. Liquid A, this is B. Do we have 24? Do we have 24 millimeter of liquid A here? No, we do not. We only have 6. Here we are showing 24. If we are showing 24 here, we must have 24 of liquid A in this scenario also. Because it's the same liquid, obviously. We need to multiply that by 4 to make it into a 24 to make sure we have the same figures. If you can multiply that by 4, we need to multiply that by 4. We must have 28 millimeter of liquid C. The answer is C. The answer is C. Let's see tomorrow, okay? Well, let, let's do the final thing here. So here's the initial situation. 
here is the initial situation A to B to C. We had 2, 2 to 5 to 7, and here is the final one. Final situation we have is final situation we have is 24. 24 24 to 30 B is 30 to 28 and are you able to see here are you able to see that are you able to see the two changes that we have made A to B is double well, before A to B is 2 to 5 A to B was 2 to 5 from 5 we go to 30. 5 times 6 is 30. If you're going to multiply 5 by 6 to get to 30, we have to multiply this by 6. If you multiply 2 by 6, we multiply 2 by 6, this would be 12. This would, would, would have been 12. If, if it stays 12, then A to B has not changed. We don't have 12, we have 24. That tells you the ratio of A to B has doubled. This part that we're doing here is not necessary for the problem. Problem is done, we're done, the answer is this. We're just doing it for understanding. Are you also able to see that A to C is tripled? Are you able to see that in this scenario, going from here to here, the ratio of A to C is tripled? How do we convince somebody that ratio of A to C is tripled? Let's take a look at it. Ratio of A to C is tripled. Before we had 2 to 7, 2 to 7. If we have 28 milligram of C, 28 is 7 times 4, 7 times 4, this should also be times 4, it should have been 8. 2 times 4 is 8, 7 times 4 is 8. Had this been the situation, then ratio of A to C has not changed. It's the same ratio as 2 to 7. 2 to 7 is same as 8 to 28. But it is not 8, it is 24. It is 3 times as much. It is 3 times as much. Ratio of A to C has been tripled. Ratio of A to B has been doubled. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.